The quotes used in information here are from Plutarch's Life of Amelius, which is where I got the inspiration and most of the information for this video. The link to the full writing will be in the description. This story takes place around the year of 168 BC, right at the height of the Macedonian War. A man by the name of Amelius Paulus is elected for his second term as consul. Originally, he was very reluctant to holding office again, but after much persistence from his family, friends, and many convincing visits from his supporters, he decided, against his better judgment, that he would run for office again. Aside from his already successful political career, Amelius was a popular choice at the time due to his previous military successes. He also had sons, son-in-laws, and a daughter who were destined to follow in his path of great deeds. You see, during his first term as consul, Amelius had successfully conquered and subjugated the Iguani in 182 BC, along with his successful term as Edile in 193 BC and Praetor in 191 BC, which made him a popular candidate in the eyes of the public. When Amelius finally agreed to the summons of the nation, according to the writings of Plutarch, he did not appear to come into the campus in order to get office, but as one who brought victory and might in war. With that being said, it shouldn't surprise you that he was the popular choice, and was obviously elected as consul without much contest. Immediately following his appointment as consul, Amelius was also assigned to the position of general in the long-running and expensive Macedonian War. The Macedonians, under the leadership of the great general Perseus, had managed to repel and inflict devastating losses to the Roman armies and navies, significantly lowering morale and support for the ongoing war. The Macedonian general Perseus had become a household name in Roman society, if only for the crushing defeats he brought onto their armies. You know the saying, no publicity is bad publicity? Well, the Romans used that negative publicity to reform, if temporarily, how they appointed generals, meaning a shift away from using the position as a political jumping point for younger politicians and a return to appointing based on military skill, history, and experience. This is where our good buddy Aemilius Paulus comes back into the picture. On the day of Aemilius' appointment to consul and generalship that immediately followed, there was a large crowd that gathered to greet and congratulate him on his success. His future campaign against Perseus was already a large talking point prior to his appointment, but now it was on the minds of everyone, including himself. Aemilius was escorted home that evening by a large crowd of supporters in high spirits who were throwing an impromptu celebration in his honor. When he finally returned home, he found his very young daughter, Tertia, with a face full of tears. Like a good father should, he took her into his arms and asked her what happened. Before Amelius could find the cause of her grief, through her tears she told him that her puppy Perseus had died while he was out. Quote, Pray doth thou not know, father? that our Perseus is dead? After consoling his daughter for a few minutes, Amelius responded to her, Good fortune, my daughter. I accept the omen. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Huh, it's not exactly what I was expecting. Unfortunately, in the moment, Amelius, with the thought of his upcoming campaign against Perseus fresh on his mind, interpreted the death of their dog, who coincidentally shares the same name with his soon-to-be enemy on the battlefield, and who coincidentally passed away right as he was appointed general as a positive sign that he was destined for victory on the battlefield against his soon-to-be enemy. Damn, poor kid must have had whiplash after that. But, well, I guess that crazy Roman was onto something because he would go to crush Perseus' army at the Battle of Pydna, bring an end to the Macedonian Empire that Alexander the Great and his late father Philip II had established years ago. Funny how the universe works, eh? Thanks for watching.